I chose to be an election judge because I saw the opportunity to be involved in my community and see how elections work before I actually am able to vote. We can show them how to fill out, like we can have a sample ballot and you can show them physically like how do you choose a candidate. I chose to be an election judge because it's a great opportunity to get involved with voting without actually being allowed to vote yourself. I would say it's important to vote because no one is a bigger advocate than yourself. And if you don't make your voice be heard, then it never will be by anybody else. And I thought this would be a perfect opportunity for me to see how it goes down, what people do, how like the voting patterns, and, and like just see how democracy takes place, not only on the local level, but on the national level. I want to make um, others feel welcome to the committee and feel like they are they're welcome to express how they feel and who they want. I'm going to be a judge at the Martin Luther King uh, Recreational Center. I think I thought it would be an interesting experience to take part in, especially with my U.S. government class. We talk a lot about like government and policies and just political views in general. I'm taking the class called AP Gov, Advanced Placement and uh, Government and Politics. It's really important that students become engaged with politics early in their life because it's going to continue out for the rest of their life. No matter what, they're going to be engaging with it, finding, fighting civil issues, fighting um, for what they believe in. But it's good exposure for them to work with the older generation and, and see what it's like. So it's, it's the most direct way that you can make a change is by casting that ballot. And so giving the kids the access to see how it works um, before they actually have the chance to do it is also good exposure. I chose to be an election judge because I felt like this would be a really great opportunity. I am turning 18 soon. Our mayoral candidates are actually pretty diverse this year. We have people, we have Asian candidates, African American candidates, female, and I feel like right now is like the kind of height of having your voice heard because people, especially in our school, our school's pretty diverse. So we have people like in the mayoral system that will be able to like advocate for us that we feel like we connect with.